Hi, welcome to Free Spirit and welcome to another close-up review. So this is going to be the latest from Alana Fairchild, the Angelic Lightwork Healing Oracle, Healing Magic and Manifestation with the Archangels. Now, they're not going to be in order because I actually got interrupted when I was trying to do this close-up review. So it's an oracle deck, so it won't really matter. The artwork is stunning. So much so, I have to say, I think this is my favorite deck that Alana has ever done. And that's saying a lot because she's done an amazing um, Oracle decks. Um, so many. This is the artwork from Daniel B. Holman. And it is stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning. And we're going to do a go through all the cards. We're going to do a bonus reading at the end. But you're going to be blown away by the beauty of these cards. I was. Um, in fact, maybe it's better I'm doing a do-over because all I could kept saying was it's beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous, gorgeous to every card over and over. Probably would have been annoying. So let's get into it. Healing, magic, and manifestation with the archangels. With the archangels. Yes. So it's beautiful light images and you're going to be working with the archangels, four of them. Archangel Michael, Archangel Raphael, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Uriel. There are 44 cards in here. Her messages and her guidebooks, you're going to want to go in them no matter what deck you get from Alana because she always gives these channeled long messages that are amazing. And this is going to be working very closely with the archangel for that card. So it's going to be healing practices. Like she says, complete with 44 healing practices. It's an invitation to heal and awaken and strengthen your connection to the archangels, to your higher self. Um, so here, angelic light work is a practice of spiritual care that nourishes every being on earth. Welcome light and love into your heart and our planet with practical exercises and divine blessings to resolve the worldly difficulties humans can face in the health, finance, career, purpose, relationships, and more. Yes, the archangels are a radiant source of spiritual love, comfort, inspiration, and joy. Open your heart to these glorious beings. Heal yourself and live your light for the highest good of all. And so all of this is generating loving magic for soulful healing and manifestation through the luminous presence of four powerful archangels. So enhance your inner light, reveal your healing path, and rejoice in your spiritual awakening through this visionary deck. Yes, complete with 44 healing practices, this beautiful oracle is the invitation to heal and awaken with the support and guidance of the angelic realm. The cards are so beautiful. I'm just warning you now. I may say it again. Beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous, gorgeous, over and over and over again. The guidebook, like I said, it's big, it's large. It's from Alana Fairchild. It's, she's going to give you such past life, present power. You're going to get full healing messages. You're going to get what to do, the practice of placing your heart over your hand, what to say, to connect with that archangel for every card. So she's going to do that for all of them. Emotional comfort. Archangel Gabriel, whole message, and what to say as you invoke Archangel Gabriel and the practice uh, to become closer, connected, embrace your divine right to heal. Yes, yes, yes. For all who are feeling it, just said who are feeling intense. I would just said all the empaths, sensitive light workers who are feeling the energy of the world. Oh my gosh, um, blessed with gratitude. A full message here and how to invoke Archangel Uriel and the practice. I mean. This is truly beautiful, truly beautiful, truly beautiful images. She even gives this stand where you can put a card here and put it on your altar and just look at the cards if you want. Like I said, I got interrupted so the cards will not be in order, but it won't even matter because it's an oracle deck. But look, it's gold gilding. The beautiful gold gilding also all beautiful gold gilding. The cards themselves are thick. You almost feel like you're holding two of them, but they're not. Maybe it's better I am doing this over again because the cards at first, they, you know, they stick a little bit because the um, gilding. So now maybe it will go a little smoother, but this is gorgeous. And the cards, they are beautiful. I'm just saying now, they are so beautiful and so gorgeous. It takes your breath away, like the colors and the light and the images. This is artwork, like I will say it again, Daniel B. Holman, the artwork and the light, the images that he did, amazing. And if you look closer, this is what blows you away. The colors are beautiful. The light's beautiful. This is Mother Healing. When you look closer, you can see an angel with her wings and her arms up. Like, you get more out of the card the more that you look at it. And they're just stunning. I'm just going to say they're stunning. Look at this. Banquet for the Soul. At the end, I'll do a bonus reading and we'll go dive deep into the guidebook. But Banquet for the Soul. Look at the colors and the light. It's really, really beautiful. 
I apologize for any background noise. I closed all my windows, but, um, oh, and these are the backs of the cards. Is that stunning? It's stunning, and it looks like a heart exploding open with light. Just beautiful. I, there's, it's just beautiful. Um, special healing for the open-hearted. I mean, when I first saw that card, it brought tears to my eyes. Special healing for the open-hearted, the ones that are feeling it all right now. It, it, look how beautiful and stunning the colors are, the images. You could see the heart here, the colors. I almost felt, and then within the card, there are patterns. Like, I don't know if you could see, like, I don't think the camera does it justice, what all that's going on in the card. So I'm just saying that right now, because the more you look at it in real life, there are patterns, there are images in here. Really, 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 really stunning. Even close up, that's a little heart in there, you see in the circle. So it really is actually stunning and beautiful. Um, and I love this card, a special healing for the open-hearted. So you can use your intuition if you want with your keywords and the images, of course, but you're, I say you're gonna wanna go in this guidebook and get every all the, everything that you put in there. Her, her messages are beautiful, the practices are beautiful. Animal Soul Guardians. Beautiful. Look at this, your heart is a healer. Is that stunning? The light and the colors are beautiful. They're just, it's just beautiful. I've never said beautiful so much on a close-up review. Um, a treasure of a soul. The light and the colors, and you could see there's like patterns within here. There are there's so many hearts in here. I love it. And the light and the colors are stunning. Look at this. When you don't know what to pray for. Look at the angel wings and the colors and light. It's really soothing. The blue is so soothing too. Beautiful human, beautiful human. And look at the heart and the angels. There's something about this that melts your heart too when you look at it. And I just wanna cry when I look at this. Beautiful human. It's so beautiful. Oh boy, finding what was lost. How beautiful. The blue is stunning. The colors are stunning. The light is stunning. I oh, As much as you're looking at it through the camera, I don't think it does it justice. The light, the patterns, it's stunning. It's just beautiful. Protection for the vulnerable heart. And that's so stunning. And see there's faint angel wings here. Protection for the vulnerable heart. I really love these cards. I will say it now. I think it's my fave, all-time favorite from Alana Fairchild. I just thought it was so gorgeous. Space clearing. Beautiful. Blessed with gratitude. Doesn't it look like love explosion? The more you look at it, it feels like you're in the sky and love explosion here. Blessed with gratitude. Just gorgeous. Rising inner strength. Earth warrior, earth warrior. I even love the key words on these cards. Look at that cultivating ease and grace. And look at the, the rose in the heart and the angel wings. Cultivating ease and grace. So beautiful. Just so, so beautiful. It's good that she put this thing here, this, you could put your card, now I see like on an altar, you can put it here and if you really resonate with this and you want it up, you know, to look at all day long, you could do that. Really gorgeous, I just got carried away for a second. And at the end we'll do a bonus reading, but I just, like if you wanted to look at that and look more at it and feel that love and support. Animal soul friends. The colors are stunning. Recovery and grace. Of course, I love all the hearts in here too. Enhanced protection for beautiful boundaries. This is what I flipped to when just looking at the guidebook before the review. That is so beautifully put. Enhanced protection for beautiful boundaries for all of us who are really feeling everything going on. Gorgeous. 
Endings for beginnings. I love how that's put. Endings for beginnings. There's a heart. And the more you look at the cards, the more stuff leaps out at you. Fatherhood and the Divine Masculine. Look at the blues in here. Reminds me of Archangel Michael energy. Peaceful prosperity. Looks like it's beaming at us. Peaceful prosperity. Freeing the threads of connection. Again, it reminds me of Archangel Michael energy. How gorgeous. Isn't this gorgeous? The light is gorgeous. I love when light is depicted really well in Archangel, in the Oracle cards. You have love beyond death. Love beyond death, how beautiful. Unique well-being. Look at the love in there. Unique well-being. Blessing the journey, blessing the journey. These are stunning. Healing through challenge. Healing through challenge, yes. Healer, healer. Really beautiful. Safe shelter. Look at how that's depicted. How beautiful. Safe shelter. I oh, love that. Some of these like almost want to make you cry. Into freedom. <sighs> these are so gorgeous. I know I keep on saying that, but I don't even think the camera does it justice, to be honest with you. Like the colors and the light. Third eye awakening. This is beautiful. Higher purpose. Look at all the white light. It's so beautiful. I know I keep saying that. Pattern breaker. Pattern breaker. Very cool. Emotional comfort. Oh, that's what's on the cover. Emotional comfort. I just love these. Some of these, it just makes me want to tear up. I don't know. Emotional comfort. You hear the honks just when I said that? So pretty and beautiful. Twin flames and soulmates. That's why the light and colors are amazing. Manifestation blessings for progress. Beautiful. Soul love. Oh, and look, there's the rose in there. Oh my God. So beautiful. Soul love. I know I keep saying that. Technologies of love. Breakthrough into light. Oh, I love these. Vow release. Hearing guidance. Love that. Soothing wind, oh, soothing mind and spirit. Soothing mind and spirit. Honor thy worth, yes. Embrace your divine right to heal. Oops, and the last one. Past life, present power. I love that. Past life, present power. These are stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning. I know I said that over and over. 44 cards to connect with Archangel Michael, Archangel Raphael, Gabriel, Muriel, Angelic Light Work. Yes, yes. So let's get, let's tap in right now and get a message for all of us. This is healing, magic, and manifestation with the Archangel. So working very closely with Archangel Michael, Archangel Raphael, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Uriel. Spiritual practices that you can do, healing practices to work more closely with them. So let's step in. They know better than I. And also, these are the backs of the cards if I didn't show them too clearly here. It looks like a heart with light and the gold gilding. It's exquisite. So we're going to get messages here and tap into the guidebook for the lengthy 
healing practice which Archangel wants to come forward for all who may find this video and give us a message for love and support of this time for all who may find this video. Okay, so let's get into it. What is the message that wants to come through for all who may find this video? Angelic light work healing oracle. Which Archangel Angel wants to come forward? Oh, oh, wow. Yes, rising inner strength. Wow. If you're familiar with my channel, you know everything that's been coming through at this time in the readings and messages, rising inner strength. So we're going to go in deep. So we're going to tap into the angelic light work healing oracle. I'm going to, it's thick. We're going to get the full message, okay? So let's get into this. Rising in our strength. In our world, wow, this is going to be long, okay? Because I'm going to give you what to invoke and even the prayer. Okay, so let's get into this. Rising in our strength. This is what they want to bring forth. In our world, humans can become confused about what it means to be powerful. Some wounded individuals may believe that bullying or gossiping is a way to alleviate their inner pain. If you ever feel that you are the target of such negativity, the powerful Archangel Michael is here to let you know that you never need to worry about such things. Instead, return your focus to your inner light and allow your strength to rise from within. Focusing on the light, the truth and the positive keeps you strong. How many times have we been getting this? I'm blown away. Know that you can step away from disrespectful conversations as needed. You always have the inner power to assert a loving truth. You can choose to dwell in the light. Begin by placing your right hand on your heart and thinking about what you feel gratitude, happiness, or love for in your life, and then say out loud, Archangel Michael, you bring the strength, will, and protection of sacred fire to me now for the greatest good of all. Sacred fire brings the healing gifts of cleansing, freedom from the past, and renewal so I may experience a new chapter in my life. Please hold and protect the sacred space for healing to happen according to divine grace. I open my heart to you, my dear angelic friend. Please empower and bless the sacred work. So be it. And as you hold your hand over your heart, you can visualize, imagine, intend, or pretend that a deep indigo blue light forms a sacred circle around you. And this circle can be as small or as large as feels right to you. And let it sit around hip level as the light of that circle shines in all directions. It feels good to be in that circle. It feels powerful and positive. And you can support this process with, with your words saying, a sacred circle of divine protection now forms around me in divine indigo light. And take a moment to repeat Archangel Michael at least several times. Archangel Michael, Archangel Michael, Archangel Michael, Archangel Michael. For as long as it feels good for you, you can sing, chant, whisper, or speak boldly or loudly. Whatever suits your heart in that moment is best. As you repeat the angelic name, you can imagine, intend, or feel that you are increasing the presence of Archangel Michael within your heart and your sacred space. Set your intention now by expressing the reason you are doing this healing. You can speak to Archangel Michael like you're speaking to a trustworthy friend. If you aren't sure why you are doing the healing, but you know you need some help, then express that. Please note, if you are doing this healing on behalf of another, ask for their permission first. If that is not practical, then say, I would like to offer this healing to everyone or to whoever it can do the most good. Right now, as I'm reading this, I'm imagining it extends from me all throughout the entire world. I just want you to know that. Oh my God, did you just hear the honk? Oh my gosh. Read the guidance below to complete the process. Add in your own prayers, words, or gestures as it feels right for you. This is your practice in your relationship with Archangel Michael. Let it feel authentic and trust that no matter what, you are divinely loved. And this is the prayer. Beloved Archangel Michael, your shield protects me from the negative projections and aggressive actions of wounded hearts that do not know any better. 
Your sword removes psychic cords of attachment and connections that may have allowed another to influence me negatively. Your loving presence reminds me of my strength to stand in my truth, to be and surround myself with a light and to know that I am worthy. I respect myself and honor the value of my being. Be with me now and always with your sword and shield held in protection over my soul. My inner truth is more potent than any outward, outer lie. With you, I remember to rely upon my inner light and know it will prevail. So be it. Now imagine, intend, or visualize a huge archangel standing behind you with his wings extended, a shield held before you, and a sword held above your head. Nothing can defeat such a magnificent divine being. Do you hear the sirens all of a sudden? Nothing can defeat such a magnificent divine being. Sense your belief in the power of negative energies becoming less and less as you recognize the power of the light this archangel holds and shares with you now. You are lit up from the inside. The light flows from within and shines so that you are like a radiant spiritual sun. Can you believe what is coming out here if you're familiar with my channel? You are lit up from the inside. The light flows from within and shines so that you are like a radiant spiritual sun. You belong to yourself and Archangel Michael. Your light is your own. It cannot be taken from you. You will always be who you are, a beautiful light shining, recognized by the angels and always loved and respected. And when you are ready, it is time to ground yourself. Become aware of your feet connecting to the earth. Imagine the energy around your head beginning to settle toward your heart, your belly, your legs, and then your feet. Don't just imagine this, feel it happening. Imagine that your connection between your feet and the earth is so strong that if someone tried to push you over, you wouldn't fall. You were strongly rooted to the earth. And then say, from my grateful heart, I thank you, Archangel Michael, this sacred work is now complete. May the energies generated here today bring spiritual benefit to all beings. May any excess energy be sent to where it can do the most good, and so be it. Finally, visualize, imagine, or pretend that the sacred circle of light you created dissolving into the earth. It takes all the delicious divine energies and grounds them according to your intention and higher divine wisdom. Wow, and that ended on page 33. And you know, 33, I always say, is that special divine number for archangels and ascended masters. This was beautiful, rising inner strength. I felt it, I felt waves through my whole entire being. I imagined that blue light circle going out for me and then going out through the entire world. Um, it was the most amazing thing to be honest with you. And I felt it go through, I feel changed. I do feel changed. Um, if you wanted to, now what's interesting is we just pulled one card, right? So say this really moved you and you loved your reading and your message. You could have that with you and put it in the stand all day long, you know, to kind of back you up with your rising inner strength and have it present with you all day and put it in there in that it's gorgeous, right? So you can, I mean, you can use the stick in so many different ways. This is absolutely stunning. Stunning, stunning, beautiful, beautiful. Again, the artwork is from Daniel B. Holman. The light and the images and the colors, it, it's just absolutely stunning. It is just so stunning and beautiful. I know I said that a gazillion times. Then you add Alana Fairchild, the keywords. Some of the keywords along with the colors and the beauty and the images and the light, it already moved me and had me and I was already tearing up. Then you go into the guidebook, like I said, thick guidebook. Alana always has huge guidebooks that are absolutely stunning. And she, what she, again, I'm getting always flipping to this enhanced protection for beautiful boundaries. Beautiful messages and how to invoke that energy and connection with that uh, archangel. And so you're really more intimately connecting with Archangel Michael, Archangel Raphael, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Uriel. Yes healing practices beautiful and if there ever was a time i think why i was getting emotional was like even some of the key words when they were saying you know the emotional boundaries or um protection uh, because those that are even grabbing to these decks or resonating hear all the work all the um 
the honks now when I say this, but if you're a light worker, if you're sensitive, if you're an empath, if you're even somebody who in their heart is even going to buy this deck, this is a time when you're going to, you need that kind of love support backing more than ever um, because of the energies of the world right now. It just is. Um, so I adore this deck. I do, I will stand by it. I think it's one of my favorite decks ever from Alana Fairchild already. Um, I love the colors, the images, the messages, um, the light that's in this deck, working closely with the archangels. I mean, that's what I'm all about. And the, uh, love and backing, love support backing for this time. Absolutely stunning. So this was the new close-up review from Alana Fairchild's Angelic Lightwork Healing Oracle. Gorgeous. Um, I wish you the best. Hope you enjoyed the video and the review and the bonus reading. And I wish you the best through this time. Take care. Rising inner strength. We have the backing Archangel Michael. Take care. Bye-bye.